Hi, welcome to Humble Warrior Yoga. I'm Caroline and welcome to another release and relax session. This one's for the whole body, so it's going to really help to relieve tension in the body and help you to wind down and relax. So we're going to begin in supported fish pose. If you have some yoga blocks, you're going to lie one this way and another one lengthways. I'll show you how to do it in a moment with cushions if you don't have any blocks. And you're just going to lower yourself down so this lengthways one is going to go between the shoulder blades and the other one's just to rest your head on. And then just allow the upper body to relax. The legs can be bent, they can be out long. Maybe you want to take a bound angle with the legs, soles of the feet together. Your choice here. <clears throat> So if you don't have any yoga blocks, I'm just going to grab a cushion. So as many cushions as you like really, and just placing it under the chest area. So the chest is lifted and open, and you can just relax the shoulders down. So just taking a few breaths here. Relax the weight of the shoulders down to the ground. And feel that opening across the chest. Feeling the ribs expanding. And if this is not very good for your lower back, you can just simply find a comfortable position on the ground. Just try to relax the weight of the shoulders down. Okay, and just take one more deep breath here. And then just removing any props that you have. We're going to stay lying down for the moment. So take the legs out long. You're going to keep the left leg out nice and long. And draw that right knee in towards the chest. And just take a moment to gently rock the leg from side to side. Maybe a few little circular movements. Moving into that hip joint. And then keep the toes of the left foot flexed and bring the left palm to this right knee. Take the right arm out to the side just for a bit of support. Gently guide that leg over towards the left. Just try to soften the feet. We're not pushing or pulling or trying to force this knee to the ground. And then come back to centre. You're just going to swap sides. So send the right leg out long, draw the left knee in towards the chest. Make little small movements here. And then right palm to left knee. Just gently guide that knee over towards the right. Keeping both shoulder blades down on the ground. And one more breath here. And back to centre. We're going to make our way up to a seat. So you're going to bring the left shin in front of you. And the right leg's going to bend behind or to the side and behind. So we're making like a Z sit with our legs. Take both arms out to the side, keep the right palm down, send the left fingertips up high, side bend over to the right. 
Try and keep both sit down bones down to the ground. And then take it in the other direction. So I bend to the left, and then you can start to round the chest down towards the floor, bring the right palm down. And just allow the head to drop. And we'll do that once more. So bringing the right palm down, side bending over towards the right. Really feeling that length all the way up from the hip, all the way up. And take it to the left. So side bending first and then allow the chest to roll down. Bringing the palm down. all the way back up we're just going to change the legs so the right shin goes in front left shin behind straight away notice if that feels any difference it's quite difficult for me to sit up tall here i'm wanting to lean off to the side so left palm down send the right fingertips up high and take a side bend towards the left <clears throat> and it might not be very far just like mine isn't that's fine each side is going to be completely different. And then over towards the right. And rounding the chest down towards the ground. Back to the other side. Take it to the right. And then round the chest down, let the head drop down. Palm comes to the ground. Nice and come back up to seated. So you're going to take the right leg out long and bring the sole of the left foot to the inner thigh. And then hinging from the hips, try to keep your spine nice and long. We're just going to walk the hands forwards. Just as far as feels okay. You just want a mild stretch here. We don't want to sort of like force our way down, we're not warming up, we're doing just the opposite. So we just want to release the tension, a nice gentle stretch here. And walking the palms back up, you're going to bring that left palm behind you, picking the hips up, straighten that front leg, reaching back, chest comes open to the sky, Reaching with the right fingers. And drop back down. I'm just going to change sides. So straighten the left leg out in front. The right sole of the foot to the inner thigh. And again, hinging from the hips. We don't need to come down too far here. Folding over that left leg. If that feels a little bit intense, you can always just bend the knee. We just want to feel a nice stretch. We don't want to feel like it's really pulling or there's any pain. Walking the hands back. Bring the right palm behind you. Picking up the hips again. Reaching back with that left arm. Rolling the chest towards the ceiling. Nice, and dropping the hips back down. So we're going to come to our knees now. Straight away you're going to tuck the toes under. And sit the hips back towards the heel, lift the body. If that already feels quite intense, you can always just lift the hips off the heels. Just try and stick with it, it's a really great stretch for the fascia of the feet and the toes. You take the arms out to the side. You're going to reach the arms back, lift the chest, lift the head, and then exhale, rounding forwards, bring the hands to meet. Inhale, bring the arms back, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding forwards. And again, if you need to lift your hips up, you can absolutely do that. Do one more. Good. 
Nice. And then bringing the palms down, you're going to keep the toes tucked, sit the hips back towards the heels, reaching the arms out in front. Lifting the knees, lift the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Start to pedal out the feet so you're straightening one leg, bending into the other. And just alternating sides. You might even want to roll over the toes if that feels good. So really pressing the heel down of the straightened leg, stretching into the calf muscles. Nice. And then walking the hands towards the feet into ragdoll. So take hold of opposite elbows with opposite hands. <clears throat> Have a little sway. And just do whatever feels good here. Maybe side to side, front and back, maybe some circular movements. Feel a nice release in the lower back. Let the head be heavy. Maybe you want to nod the head a little yes, a little no. Walking the hands back out, find your downward facing dog again. Pressing the chest towards the thighs, really press into the palms, feel that length in the spine. And then lower the knees. We're going to come all the way down to our front, so just gently lower yourself down. Coming into sphinx pose, so bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Press into the palms, press into the forearms. And really work to draw the chest forward, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other across the back. Try and find some length in the neck, so we're not trying to look up. Looking a foot or so down in front of us. And then if it feels okay today, maybe you want to make some movement with the neck. So you can turn to look over the left shoulder, over the right, maybe some little circles. Just some nice organic movement. And then take the elbows out wide so you can lower all the way down, bringing the palms in front of you. Bending the right knee, I'm going to reach around with that right hand, grab a hold of the ankle, and draw that foot down towards the bottom. Just resting the head on the hand. And really press down with the pubic bone, really intensify the stretch. Feel a nice stretch into the front of the thigh, into the quads. We'll gently release the grip of the leg and we'll change sides. So bending that left leg, drawing the heel down towards the glutes. And pressing the hips into the mat if you want to intensify this stretch. Gently release. And we're coming into a half frog pose now. So you're going to bend that left leg and bring it up to the side. So you're kind of making a 90 degree, degree angle with the leg. Just resting the head on the hands. If you find that's a bit intense, just lower your leg a little bit. You don't need to have it right the way up. You still get a nice stretch into the inner thigh and the groin. Taking that leg back, we'll do that on the other side. 
bringing that right leg up, trying to make a 90 degree angle with the knee. Just see if you can soften and relax into this pose. Try to not hold any tension in the glutes or in the shoulders even. Taking that leg back up, bring my hands by the ribs, press up to all fours. So bring the knees underneath the hips and then try to keep the hips directly over the knees as you walk the hands forwards. Lower the head and the chest down to the ground. And then bend the elbows, bring the hands together in prayer and just draw the hands back towards the back of the neck. Maybe walking the elbows a little bit further forward if that feels good. If this is too intense, you can just reach your arms out in front and take a puppy pose here. Just depends on how tight your shoulders feel. It might be different from day to day. And just keep some gentle engagement in the abs. We don't want to sort of let everything sink and drop. We want to keep some engagement there. And slowly walking back to hands and knees. We're going to make our way down to our backs once again. Take your time getting there. You're going to keep the knees bent. Take the feet out as wide as your mat. I'm going to gently drop the knees over to one side. If that feels like enough, you're just going to stay here. Otherwise, you can bring that ankle on top of the thigh for a deeper stretch. And try to keep both shoulder blades down on the ground. Really breathing deep. Every exhale, see if you can just soften a little bit more. And we'll bring the knees back up, unravel, and we'll do that on the other side. So dropping the knees over towards the other side. And again, if that feels like enough, stay there. Otherwise, you can bring that ankle on top of the thigh or the knee. If you find that your shoulders sort of lift in, just bring the foot back down to the ground. Yeah. And bring the knees back, unravel everything. And draw the knees in towards the chest. You're going to reach hold of the outer edges of the feet. The happy baby. If you can't reach your feet, maybe your ankles, the shins, or the back of the thighs. Again, try to make a right angle here with this, with the knee, sole of the feet facing the ceiling. Just open the legs nice and wide, drawing the knees down to the outside of the ribs. And they might not reach, but that's the intention. You just want to be drawing them in that direction. And if you want, you can have a little gentle rock from side to side. Just be mindful that you don't sort of topple all the way over to one side. And drawing the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a bit of a hug. And just have a little gentle rock, maybe some little circular motions, just massaging the lower back into the ground. It should feel really good. Just 
and then sending the legs out long. Arms out to the side. Just allow the body to relax and soften. Just take a mini Shavasana here. Just closing the eyes. Just take a mental scan of the body. Is there anywhere where you're holding on to tension still? Can you maybe soften and release? You need to soften the space across the forehead. Relaxing the tongue in the bottom of the mouth. Loosen the jaw. Just allow the shoulders to sink into the ground. Let the belly be soft. See if you can relax the legs. Just let the feet fall out to the sides. And you can stay here for as long as time allows. Otherwise, just start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Make some small movements. You could take the arms overhead, take a big stretch. And when you're ready, bend in the knees. And you're just going to roll onto one side. And just take a few moments here. You don't always need to be rushing. When you're ready, press into the palms to come all the way back up to take a seat. So hopefully you're feeling a lot more tension free and a lot more relaxed and you can enjoy the rest of your evening or your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.